This is Twit. Do you do your own lettering? Because the lettering is quite good. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, um, no, it's. It, I do do my own lettering. Um, I'm laughing because. Uh, there's 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 actually I don't know I, I've I've mixed I've experimented some with fonts so some of the lettering is is with a font but we there are tricks to make it more uh, uh, irregular um, to match the lettering but my handwriting does definitely changes over time and I but I figure if I'm going to draw stick figures at least some part of it has to be more labor intense <laughs> well legibles uh, legibles valuable my favorite That's... thing though was when i was googling because there is i've had a couple of different fonts of my handwriting that i've used for different projects especially when we've done interactive april fools type things that have needed um you know dynamically generated text and and i know that um i my lettering is just my handwriting block letters you know i know that cartoonists uh uh you know there's this whole art to lettering and and you know maybe it's less common nowadays but but that was a whole very serious profession that people had all kinds of you know they knew how to and knew how to letter write for comics so at one point i googled i was trying to see which version of the font had been released with my projects and i googled xkcd font um because i was trying to see which one was the one that was floating around that people would use and I found a, a Quora question where someone asked, you know, hey, what's what font does XKCD use? <laughs> and then someone who knew about cartooning responded, uh, it's not a font, it's hand lettered and not particularly skillfully. <laughs> and oh. I was like, ouch. That's so Reddit. <laughs> um, no, it, 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 it's, uh, it, I know it, it may not pass muster with, uh, with, with people who really know about lettering, but it's... Uh, well, it's just it's my own block lettering screw handwriting. Screw them. Although I have to say, there's this is a great blog post by uh, Phil Elson on the uh, metrics of your handwriting, probably more than you really would care to go into. Yes, if you scroll back up actually right there. Um, if you scroll up to the top of the page, there was a sample chunk of sample text. Oh, let me go to that. And side. yeah, um, where I wrote out, and I actually wrote that out at their request. Um, oh, how funny. At, years ago but what i got stuck on was so they started saying hey we want to do um you know there was some people who were trying to make a better xkcd font and i was like oh sure that's cool i'm, I'm happy to contribute but one of the things that's hard is getting the spacing between the letters especially because my my letters tend to be kind of scrunched right up against each other um and in order to do that uh uh i wanted a sample of text that would have as many common letter pairs as possible. And as is often the case with my projects, it sort of started to go off the rails because I got hung up on this problem of <laughs> if you want to write a sample of text that has every English letter in it, that's not too hard. There are many people who have solved sure. that problem. There, yeah. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right. But what about if you want something that has every pair of letters that appears in English. Oh. No one, I hadn't found anyone who had tried to do this or at least every pair that almost ever appears in English. Maybe there are some very rare pairs you could leave so out. So you could get the kerning but, right between F and yeah, L and things like that. So you don't need to worry about the kerning between like X and J. Right. That never comes up. But you do need T and T and T and L. So I took a giant sample of text and tried to write a tool that would generate a, a string of words that would have all of the different letter pairs that you might need with, uh, without any wasted space that would try to represent it in the minimal space possible. And an amazing coincidence, unauthoritativeness, leather bark, intercolic, microchelia off cider is my password. So Yeah, you could probably change that. I hate to tell you. <laughs> Well, what, what was great was that I, so first of all, this was one of the ones that I hit at some stage, you know, one of my test phrases, but this problem turns out to be fairly hard. It's interesting. It's um, a really interesting so problem. Yeah. A week later, I have given the font people nothing helpful <laughs> and I have generated a huge amount of data on like letter pairs and Way, better and better ways to generate these combinations um and so i have and, and and surprisingly um at first i thought i was doing something wrong because i couldn't get a compact sentence that had many of the common pairs but i think that it wasn't just that it was that um it really is hard to make a short sentence uh there are just a lot of different pairs but i so i didn't really so i got the font 
uh, the people who were working on the font didn't get as much helpful guidance from me. <laughs> but I now have a lot of code on my computer for generating <laughs> errors. Did you do it in, and Py I had a lot in Python? What did you do it in? Yeah, that was in Python. Yeah. Um, I tend to use whatever tool I know how to use at the time. I'm one of those people who will like spend 10 hours doing something with a tool that I have an idea of how to use instead of like spending five hours to learn to use a better tool. <laughs> right, right. Um, but that's always a balance that's hard to strike. Um, this is, I, by I'm the way, why we love you, Randall. <laughs> I mean, this is in a nutshell what makes XKCD so incredible is – and there's just it's something about your personality, I guess, that uh, you're you you go deep. Well, I'm but I'm I'm always looking to cut corners, but I always find the the way of cutting corners that ends up being more work than the original. <laughs> like, I guess I could have just written out every letter pair. There are only like six hundred and seventy nine <laughs> or nine hundred one hundred of them or something. But instead, I spent two weeks trying to figure out how to cut that down to like half the size. And why cupcake? Um, why is cupcake in your font set? I don't know. I don't understand that. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing like it must just be something that had a, a good. Um, where is cupcake in there? Yeah, right. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm I'm not seeing it. It's oh, it's at the bottom. Let me scroll down a little bit here. See there, above uh, E, and I think that's a cupcake with a cherry on the top. Maybe it's an oh, ice cream soda. Oh, that, no, no, no. I see. Yes, when um, the, the symbols. Sorry, I was yeah. looking for the word no, cake. No, the no, the symbol thing. cupcake. It's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. So emoji that, that you have. There was, yeah, there was a, there was a, the, at, 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 I think at the time I did this, there was the, um, a debate over why there was no cupcake emoji. <laughs> Okay. There was someone who was writing so about that. You but have I'm, only I am a endless... cupcake emoji. <laughs> yes, so I have only a cupcake emoji. I, I am endlessly delighted by the hopeless task that the Unicode Consortium oh, yeah. has created for themselves. Oh, yeah. um, and it's one of those problems that, like, it it's like they, they started out just trying to unify a couple of different character sets. And, and really, before they quite realized what was happening, they were like grappling with decisions at the heart of how we use language no matter how hard they tried to create policies to avoid the, avoid these problems yeah. <laughs> um and and i think that it's just really fun uh it's just a, a fun uh uh example of how weird language is and how hard human communication is and how you can't really get around those problems um and so when i see them fighting over you know which dinosaur emoji to include um uh, or or getting mad because people are using some some symbol the way that they didn't want. Um, I find that kind of delightful. And like you know, and 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 the problems they grapple with in in all this are are really serious and hard problems. Which is you know uh, of of like which languages do you include and and how and how how much work do you put into getting support? So these are really hard problems and I do not envy them. Um, and I also enjoy that they can be at the center of a firestorm over cupcakes. <laughs> Absolutely.